Okay, so here is, you go from the deck, you go down here to the pottery studio, and then below that upper there, that is, why is that so wet there? It's like, this is completely saturated. Huh, I'll have to fix it. Anyway, not right now. So that's Dead Man's Run. And we're gonna go for a walk over here somewhere. See, there's Dead Man's Run. Nice, eh? If I go this way, it's all going to be in the shade. Look at how blue the shadows are. Why is this a little difficult? I'd like to be in the sun. I should just walk around the whole deck, but I really think I should get out. I could go that way, but then I'd be in the shade the whole time. Let's go out here. This will be okay. I love this place. This is gorgeous. I think this is as close as we get to being like Vancouver, BC. It's the closest there is. It's pretty nice. I have a lot of broken trees in there. see some shadows of birds flying up in the air. Oh, I remember being in that hammock. I must have made a lot of videos from there. Ah, the studio. And the sled which is under it. Maya saw it and said, you have a slide? I think I should put it from the trampoline to the ground. Hey, that'd be great. The kids could just trampoline and then slide off the slide. Wow, thank you, Heavenly Father. Look how beautiful it is. So nice, wow. And there's Iceberg Pond way over there. I'll zoom you in a little bit. See any deer tracks at all? Oh, well, there's some. This is Deer Meadow. There's one. We'll see him tomorrow after we get new snow. There's the moat. Look at that. You can see the whole thing. It goes all the way around. It's sort of a rectangular with nice corners. The corners are quite big. And then over here, that's really cool. So there's Iceberg Pond. And then over there is the moat. And then over here is Fiddlehead Pond. And a hammock to sit in and look at it. <coughs> That's a big long pond all the way over to there. All the way along. And then the little road along it is called Fiddlehead Lane. And then this other one, this moat, is called Triaqua Trail. Triaqua Car Trail. Oh, and then over there is Serenity Dippity Pond. Wow, you can see all the ponds from this spot. Iceberg Pond, the Moat, Serenity Dippity Pond, and Fiddlehead Pond. I never knew that. Isn't the Triaqua Trail cool? That little line in the, of snow in the woods is... Uh, I think that might be the oh that's the that's the entrance into the other place. Look the hemlock trees do to this the view. See these are these little trees are hemlocks. Hemlocks like to be on really steep stuff. Gosh, there's a lot of hemlocks there. 
This is another one. It's all the furry stuff there, except that one right there, the crooked one at the back. That one is a cedar. And these are all, these are all hemlocks. This is a cedar. But hemlocks have, they bend their heads over. They don't have a really tall, straight top like this. They just kind of hang over a little bit. There, yeah, that shows it better right there. That little tiny one kind of tips. Whereas that huge one up there, it, see how thick it looks compared to a, a hemlock? Hemlock's needles are very short. They're flat, like like a balsam. But there's a fir, right? A hemlock is a fir and a balsam is a fir. But the spruces, they have... I don't have any spruces from here, do I? Look, at we have lots of hemlocks. I hadn't really thought about that before. I know those are all cedar from here all the way over. Those are all cedars, white cedars. We don't, that's as big as they get. Uh, well, no, they get bigger. There's a maple through there. See how beautiful it is? These, that's a maple. They're all kind of bent over because of the ice storm in 98. It affected them all. They had huge branches. You see how the huge branches suddenly become little tiny branches? That's what the ice storm did. Every tree in the forest, they were all like totem poles. There's nothing, no branches all the way up. All that little fluffy stuff at the top was gone. That was the ice storm. You were probably going to have an ice storm in the south today. It took a few days though. There's the house. Wow, that deck makes that house humongous. Wow, I love that deck. But see how good it would be if I could just take a... If I had a bridge right here? I mean, can you imagine trying to get down there and get up to the deck? Like, you can go all the way over there and in, but if it's a really hot day, the sun out there is too much. And if it's windy, it's too much. And who wants to go way down there and up anyway? Because you can't, you know, you can go all the way to the fence and there and back, or you can go down and there and up. But this is too, so what I want to do, oh, look at this is a pretty good view. Can I see a tree that's against the deck? See, I'd like to, it would be great if you could just attach it to the deck. I wonder if you could. Have a nice bridge. I mean, it would be nice to have a suspension bridge that hangs from zipline, but it's not practical. But see, this is where it would come from. See how close it is. I mean, it's not like over there. See, I'll show you. I know, I, I sound like I'm arguing, don't I? I am, because Willem says, oh, we don't do this. So it should come from right here, from this tree. See this valley? Oh, no, wait, this is the deer valley. That's the deer path. Well, let's see. See, it wouldn't be too bad to climb up from here. Right? This is not too bad. I can easily do that. Like if the train stopped here, right? It would be, the top would be good, but it would block this. So if it stopped here, if it started here, where's that rope? I have a rope tied to the tree. Oh yeah, there. Yes, yeah, this is a little further down. So you have a, still have a little walk, but you know, it's a beautiful walk. And this rope here, it's 50 feet from this corner to there. And that's a pretty open place. I wouldn't have to take any trees down, just these branches right here. Just those on that tree. Huh. Now, could I have a zip line? If I just attach a zip line to that tree, that tree is a maple, it's good and strong. If I opened up the fence there and made it the fence go around the tree, and you could walk out, hook onto the zip line, and you could just go down and up. But I think this is not going to be far enough then because you want it so that when you're coming along here, if you're on a zip line, you want it so that you're going to be running into the ground, which I am. Look at, at this height. See, I don't come off the ground till about here. So from here, the whole time I'm on the zip line, I'm going to be walking uphill. 
if it's a zip line, it should go to here. Just go right past that tree and then hook it here and hook it on that tree and then put some way to get to it. Figure something out about the railing. And I could just zip line over here. What an easy idea. Now I want to take the other zip line down. Poor tree, oh my gosh, what I've done to it. The side's not too bad, but oh look, I girdled it. But I don't think it'll die because I think it's just, it's grown around it. Oh, you poor tree. Will it kill you if I unwrap them? That one's okay. What about this one? I don't know. Oh, that one's pretty tight, isn't it? It's gone right through. I think that is that has cut the tree there. I think that side of the tree would be dead. The trees are pretty amazing. You just reroot it and go somewhere else, but this is also pretty bad. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, how would I release it? This is actually exactly the release point. Boy, look at how well I did this. But I think this is completely, completely um, seized up. I think you pull this or you push it. Not sure, and then this. This engages those things. Oh yeah, you must, you must pull it down and then those things would engage into it. But anyway, I'm not going to do that. But it's, I'm afraid of taking it off because if I, if I somehow release it here too quickly, it'll whip. You know, of course this is, it'll, it's just going to, it's very tight. Can you hear it? Let's come close to it. That used to be loud. I can barely hear it. Anyway, so it's going through the tree there anyway. I don't want it up there now, I think. But it's an awesome line. I, I, I don't think it's changed at all. It's like, it's aircraft cable. And it's made for this. But what I could do, I see what I could do. I could release this one a little bit. I could release them slowly, but I bet if you if you let it go too much, it would just it's so heavy. The tension on it. How am I going to do it? I think if I somehow weight it down so it can't fly away, but you know it's going to shrink. So it's not going to be this long. It's going to be as half as long because it's it's what it does, which makes it into a big whip. Now, is it going to be able to whip the house? Well, yeah, if you took this length here and you let it go, it's going to shrink up because it's going to get a loop way back by the pole. It's going to shrink up and then this is going to become like the other end of a, uh, a S. And it's going to hit, that, hit the house bad. But, I've taken it down and put it up many times. I just have to release some of the tension. That's the whole point of this thing. So the whole crux of the matter is to get this lubricated up and get this lubricated up so that you can work this thing. Because that releases it properly. Morning. Do not pull more than target length. Okay, so this length, that's fine. Um, what else does it say there? I have to go on the other side to read it. Yeah, I could 
I could I could get this thing working. There used to be two of them here and somehow I fixed it and there's one. But I tightened it all the way and now... Anyway, that's one of those little projects I have to deal with. <sighs> it's nice outside. Or I could leave that there and just buy another piece of aircraft cable and do it again over there, but I don't want it tight. I want it to have a nice hyperbolic cosine. So, so I, not real but low, but just enough, you know? And, and you have to take a rope with you so that if you get stranded, you know, but you, you have a thing like this, right? So I'll just actually probably just take this one off of here and put it over there. So you have this big length of rope just in case you get stuck. And it's, a, it's just a, a children's swing. And it's got those things on it. And this thing slides along, or it's supposed to. Oh, it's pretty rusty, isn't it? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, and so that's how you do it. And you, I can go up there and just zip line down. I've done it. I don't know when the last time I was. Maybe two or three years ago. Maybe it was more recently than that. That should not be there. More flowers to transplant. Oh, it's nice out here. See Willem's Gardens? Scarlet built these. Well, she got us going and we did a lot of them. She did a lot of them. And then she had the missionaries help her. There's a lot of people doing all these gardens, actually. So, those are the garden beds. And then, of course, I have those garden beds over there. I wonder if I should stop this and start it again, or if you even stay there. Oops, sorry. Yeah, 17 minutes. I better stop. Okay, see you later.